I think I was well aware, partly because I was involved in setting up programs or helping institutions to set up their programs, I was well aware how devastating it would be to an institution to be suddenly shut down, and particularly the larger institutions with large portfolio of uh, research grants, either from the government or from uh, private industry or uh, oftentimes from small business. Uh, and so uh, to the best of my ability, when we found uh, a problem, we uh, tried to deal with it quietly and give the institution, without much publicity, give the institution an opportunity to correct its own uh, shortcomings. Uh, there were a number of institutions we ran across where the programs were either virtually non-existent or malfunctioning. Uh, we found places where uh, the committee would meet and sign off on research without deliberation, uh, situations like that. Most of that, because we had a small staff, uh, most of that came by way of whistleblowers. And, and I think that was the link between Primer and, uh, and the institutions, that there was in virtually every institution in the country, there was someone who had come to Primer, been inspired and dedicated to the importance of proper and careful review of research. And when it wasn't happening, someone in that institution, usually a Primer member, would call us and say, uh, you need to do a site visit at XYZ University because uh, they're not following the rules. And I, th I think the universities were utterly amazed at the kind of extended staff we had into virtually every institution in the country. Uh, Partly that worked because in virtually every case, I would call and pay a visit to uh, the institutional official, usually a vice president for research, uh, and talk about the fact that we were in a position to shut them down. We didn't want to have to do that if we they could take three months uh, and demonstrate that they could revitalize their program and bring, bring it into full compliance, we would not take any public action against them. Uh, and that system uh, worked very well. The one drawback was we had to make a report to Congress every year, and my office not reporting any violations, uh, keeping them uh, quiet between our office and the institution, we were criticized for not being tough enough. I think that really was a false criticism. Even Leonard Glantz, for whom I guess there's nobody I admire more in this world than Leonard, uh, Leonard thought we should uh, operate, and I told them how we were operating. I didn't tell them the names of the institutions. But Leonard thought we should make a big fuss and get a lot of publicity, and that would frighten other institutions into compliance. And it is an approach, and it's, it's a way of doing business that we thought about. But we felt that, uh, and we built up a, a cooperation with the institutions so that by the time I left office, virtually every uh, institutional official in the country was on a first name basis with me. Uh, and they would call me if they had a problem because often the problems were rooted in fiscal difficulties. Uh, and uh, so we would often call, uh, talk to them. Uh, many of them were state institutions, uh, some of them endowed we found out their sources of money, and then we contacted those sources, often state legislatures, and said, you know, 
your state institution is out of compliance. If you don't put more money into uh, their research program, give them better staff, uh, put some pressure on them to build their IRBs properly, uh, we will have to shut it down.